Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Compliance Corner with John Hansen. My name is Cole Finley, and I am here with my very good friend, John. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing great. Thanks, Cole. Awesome. So we have a really cool topic today that I think is very interesting, and it's the difference between an addendum and an amendment. And uh, I know that you've actually got a case study for us on this. Am I correct? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so first of all, I wanted to just address, you know, the, the, the difference between those two words and what they mean, because in, in legalese, there's a big, big difference. On our Form 34, as you can see uh, posted here, the title of this form that you see at the top is, is addendum slash amendment. Okay, but they don't mean the same thing. So an addendum um, is something that is used at the time of mutuality um, that the buyer and seller are agreeing to as being part of the original agreement. So if we add a 34 at that time, it's actually an addendum to the agreement and an, an amendment is something that later after we'd already had mutuality is used by the buyer and seller to change or amend the previously agreed to terms. So in, in most cases, an amendment is going to always supersede the addendum if there's a, you know, a, a conflict or misunderstanding between the two. So as a case study, I wanted to use one that we recently had where, um, where the uh, original agreement that was agreed upon by buyer and seller had a form 34 that stated that the seller was to remain in occupancy uh, for an additional 30 days beyond closing. And, and so as the transaction uh, was moving along, there was an addenda, uh, sorry, there was an amendment signed by buyer and seller that set forth a specific date for occupancy change that did not equal the 30 days. So in the seller's mind, they were still focused on the original agreed upon 30 days, but the date that was amend that it was amended to, signed by both parties, actually had a specific date that was two days before those 30 days would be up. So the seller was thinking the 30 days and planned on moving out the 30 days and was only able to work things out that way where the buyer was looking at that specific date that it was amended to and was thinking, well, this is when they got to be out, which is two days before those 30 days come up and you got to be out and I'm going to be moving in. And they made all their arrangements to move out of where they were to move into. So it was a, a real, uh, you know, crisis, as you can imagine, in terms of the buyers and the sellers plans, they had to, they had to come to terms on this thing. Right. So, um, so, so I was asked the question, you know, which of these dates is going to supersede here because we have one saying in 30 days and we have the other one saying on this specific date, which is two days earlier than the 30 days. And so my response was that, well, the, the, the 30 days was amended um, by the parties. Um, they signed off that it was going to be on this specific date. So that is the date uh, of occupancy change. That makes total sense. Okay, so if we if we kind of take a look at it, um, an addendum is always part of the original agreement. An amendment, um, if we think of it as kind of a, a revision or an update to what that that agreement was, right? That's that's right. The old agreement. Yeah, yeah. Now, one thing I think people also want to make sure they understand is. Uh, the form 34 is always a form to be used within a purchase and sale agreement, but in the listing agreement, I believe, John, and tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, uh, to have an amendment to the exclusive listing agreement is a form 18. Am I correct on that? Yeah, that, that is correct. So we have with our listing agreements, we have sometimes confusion between form 18 and form 19 when something is being revised. And so I'm glad you brought that up because form 19 is just for purposes of the MLS printout. So what is it gonna show in the MLS printout? Um, it's not 
contractual in terms of the listing agreement, but Form 18, yes, it is actually an amendment to the original listing agreement. So things can be changed um, in terms of that contract, that actual listing contract. Right. Um, and, and it kind of serves a double purpose because it could also be used uh, for inputting into the MLS. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, John, as always, thank you so much for sharing this information. Uh, I always love a good case study too. I think those are always really helpful for agents. They're always so uh, so accommodating for everyone. We appreciate it so much. Uh, I hope you get to have a wonderful day and enjoy this uh, wonderful weather, my friend. It's beautiful. Yep, yep. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. <laughs>